So if you think you've just found a meteorite, you can perform these tests to see if your rock truly is a genuine meteorite from outer space. So there are six basic tests to figure out if you have a meteorite. The first one is appearance, and you can do this by looking at your meteorite, looking at the outside, seeing if it has possibly fusing crust, such as that right there, that little black spot. Fusing crust is the uh, outside crust, maybe one millimeter thick for when it was coming in through the atmosphere at super high temperatures. Okay. You also look on the inside by making a little window to see what is made up of. This here is an iron meteorite made up of mostly iron and nickel. And meteorites will never have any jewels or like gemstones or like crystals in them. Those are just like earth rocks. Okay, the next up is the rust test. So you can see that there's rust on it, which would happen obviously on a iron um, meteorite because it's rained on it and turned rusty. Okay, the next test would be the magnet test. And you do that by getting a strong rare earth magnet and seeing if it sticks to it. And this one does, which means it's one step closer to being a meteorite. Okay, most earth rocks that have a magnetic stick to it might not have the same characteristics. Okay, the next test would be the nickel test, which I can't show you right here. You would have to take it to a lab that specializes in meteorites or buy yourself a nickel test kit at a well-stocked pharmacy. Okay, the one of the last test is the streak test which what you do is you take it and rub it across a surface such as the back of a tile and depending on what mark it leaves it tells you what type of, or earth, earth rock if you want a meteorite you'll probably be hoping for a clear or invisible streak Okay, the last test would be the weight or density test, which is calculated by dropping it in a cup of water and seeing how much it goes down to find out its mass in cubic centimeters, then weighing it. And meteorites can range in densities from 2 to 4 grams per centimeter cubed. And iron ones are heavier, whereas more rare ones are, could be lighter. Okay, so if your meteorite passes all the tests, the chances are that you do really have a meteorite. Thanks for watching.